Wellness Academy Leadership Development um, Initiative is to really help spark in the parents themselves the capacity and the recognition that they're all leaders. And by exposing them and by polishing and fine-tuning their skills, they can really help to empower people at the school level in order for us to generate the type of educational opportunities and educational experience for the students in this community. I mean, it's great to see the amount of potential that's there that's just waiting to be catalyzed, that's waiting to be developed, that's waiting to be activated and towards a purposeful goal. The goal being increasing college career and citizenship readiness for children in District 18. So it's a great um, series. Uh, you learn a lot from the parents and from the administrators that are also part of this academy, part of this community. And you also create a space for parents to see each other as resources in order for us to create a groundswell of positive change for the schools in District 18. Well, the series in and of itself is, is designed to increase parental engagement and it's a three-pronged approach by ensuring that those of us who are leaders within the district have a common understanding of our roles and our responsibilities um, toward influencing opportunities and access for all students across the district but also becoming the gatekeepers for the work that we can do to ensure that we are strengthening uh, parent engagement, uh, parent voice, as well as parent activism. On existing in the district, um, they're getting a different take and a different look on how communication should be taking place about the relationship building piece. I also feel that um, it's empowering, which I know was one of the intentions in the first place of um, this particular you know, form of workshop. And we're walking away, I think, with a little bit more knowledge of how we should be interacting in school in terms of a president feeling and being a leader and school administration being the leadership in the building. meetings, our SLT meetings, what are we doing to help our parents to be more engaged and involved, and how we can be more instrumental as parent leaders in um, making our schools better academically and socially for our students and our parents. I think, personally for me, I feel like it's very informative, especially if you're you're not too sure where to begin to get help. Um, it helps you to push to find the resources that could help out your school and your, your district, I mean, your community, the community itself. So. that I would, the information that I, um, 
I get from the uh, Parents Academy, and we were able to form actual subcommittees. And um, uh, from the subcommittees, uh, we, we are actually focusing on areas that we can um, actually bring, meet the school, the school goals in the SLT. part of the PTA, but helping them to understand the why from the inside um, out. The whole trust piece um, that we spoke about, the things that we could do differently, the things where we want to go from here, like um, having the, the kids do better in middle school, do better in the testing, create some programs that would help them, that really, you know, it was for me. Trust can't stand with me because uh, to work with the family and the children, if, if there is not trust between you, the, the educator, and, and the children, because I, I mostly speak to the children, so they know that my door is open to them for the entire time that I'm there. So anything, any issues they have going on, they know they they have the we build that choice so they could come to me and we could talk anything in, in my room which is a which is a safe place they could let out trust you see this little green thing on the bottom i'm gonna ask a volunteer to read where it says trust everyone works does anyone see it oh let me take you want me okay go Everyone works towards the shared goal of improving student outcomes, preparing students for success in school and beyond. Across the school community, there is respect. School staff, parents, students, and administrators value each other. So my general overview has to do with the fact that we have school counselors and parent coordinators working side by side, understanding their role as part of the leadership in the school. So it's not just the principal, the assistant principal, but they too are leaders, bona fide leaders, that have special skills when it comes to collaboration, consultation, advocacy. Those are essential elements that before this, these meetings, um, taken for granted. And so parent coordinators work by themselves and, and silos as well as school counselors, but for the first time we bring these two individuals together, together to collaborate and to share in their one vision of what it is that needs to happen with together. students for the first time because school counselors and parent coordinators, while they may be in a school, didn't necessarily mean that they work together in that school. And so bring them together meant that they are now establishing a shared vision as far as what they would like to see and to collaborate with one another so that they capitalize on each other's strengths rather than focusing on the challenges. With the parent, the parent coordinating guidance council series, it brings us together because whether it's elementary school or middle school or even high school, we're having the same conversations with parents and we need to share the information together and I think we need to be able to assist. So like I'm a middle school parent coordinator. So from sixth, seventh, eighth grade, it's always known that guidance counselors have a lot on their plate. Uh, particularly the eighth grade graduation, then they have walk-ins, just like uh, parent coordinators have walk-ins. But we swap our conversations and see how we can provide I think service. the change in bringing parent coordinators and guidance counselors together has been a wonderful um, addition, at least I believe for District 18. I think it has allowed us to come together to support not only students, but families and our community. Being able to come to these meetings with my guidance counselor and going back and taking the information has changed our school community. We've been able to work together more and support each other with different events, um, different outreach and supporting students. So I think it's been um, the information that we got with making sure that we are in a position or 
um, in a place where parents can actually trust us, that we can establish those abilities and those strengths where they can be resilient with situations within the community. Well, most of the things that I learned at the workshop is to be more resor resourceful. Like mm -hmm. I, I've learned to go out there and find out information mm -hmm. that I could bring to my school and, you know, help the parents. Mm -hmm. It spoke on a lot of the immigrants and our community. We have a lot of um, families that come from different countries and speak different dialects. So with all of the res um, resource that I gathered today, I could bring it back to the school as well. So each member of, of, of the academy comes to the table with a wealth of knowledge and experience, some um, questions as well as solutions. And our role is to really look at the elements of leadership, to study deeply the impact and influence of effective leadership, and to really surface for ourselves the why of the work that we do as school leaders and the interdependency of um, our work to one another, but more importantly to the mission and the vision of each school as well. This is shifting our thinking to say, listen, you've got two students, you've got two different methods of learning. Exactly. Let's encourage them. And we just have to bring this back to our children because their lives are at stake. Part is the ability to listen up there. So there's potential for all of our kids. That a couple of months ago, I met with a student, and he did an artwork, and it's so, it's, it's profound that I actually get to say this today. In the artwork, it, it was literally a casket, and the casket said, here lies potential. And I thought that was so powerful. So many of our kids have potential, but they are dying. And I'm not talking about a physical death. I'm talking about an intelligent death, a spiritual and emotional death, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it can no longer continue to be that way. Or else, why are we here? Have a blessed day. Well,